it says a lot. I think, uh, you know, you look at the result and it, and you kind of maybe just shrug it off. Uh, zero, zero at home is, is uh, of course, going into the game, not what we want, but you look at how the game goes. Obviously, we have a man sent off. Um, I think there's so much more to take from this game that's encouraging for the team and um, the mentality, the tempo, the um, the intention from the start of the game and, and and especially the start of the second half, which is, I think, something we've struggled with this year is um, bringing the same intensity to the beginning of the second half as we do the first half. Um, I think there are a lot of things that were good to take away tonight, uh, just on the wrong side of it. Um, you know, we... we uh, generate enough chances to win and and that's that's what you want at the end of the day you mentioned intention and that first half seemed very intentional you guys really dominated a lot of the play what did you like about what you saw from the team when you talk about intention what where did that really lie um i think i think our our focus as a group uh when the ball turns over, I think it's really easy to be to be locked in when things are going well, things are working, we're connecting passes, we're putting together good sequences. But when something goes wrong, I think that's when it takes the team to be switched on. Um, so when we have a turnover, when a ball doesn't bounce our way, I felt like we were in the right spots. We had the right attacking shape when we were in their half, and that was that that um, helped us keep the pressure on them, helped us keep them in their half, um, didn't let them breathe, and it's so important to do here with the altitude. Yeah, um, this team went down, you went down to 10 men. Communication at that point is so important to get back together. You guys really held it down through the rest of what, 35 minutes. What was said in the back line to keep things united? Um, yeah, it's not just the back line. You know, I think starting with Marco and then when you go down to 10 men, you, you need to, uh, your attackers to do a lot of the dirty work also. Um, you know, Kevin was, was in flanks defending, Sam Nicholson, you know, all the wide guys. Um, it's not something you want those guys to do, and they don't want to do, certainly. Um, but it, it takes a collective effort, and I thought um, we all really bunkered down. And, um, you know, we've said during this stretch, when things aren't going your way, you just got to work hard, and the, the hard work gets you out of it. Um, and we got to do it together, and um, and we did that. You know, credit, credit to everybody. We, we did that tonight, uh, and it's, it's not easy. First start here at home for Marco. He gets his shutout. Uh, what did you like about his performance, and what's it like him playing there behind you? Uh, he's been great. Um, you know, he's still new, new to the group. It's been great to get to know him, great to get to know him as a player in person and, and how he leads. And, um, it's difficult as a goalkeeper. Uh, it, it's almost like you're either the starter or you're completely out of it kind of a thing. And, and it's a difficult position to be in. Um, and I, and I thought he did it really well. Um, his leadership is, is, um, you, you hear him a lot of the game vocally and, um, made a couple of good saves. Uh, and that's that's all you can ask. It's difficult when you don't get a, uh, a lot of games, um, and then to to step in and be sharp like that is is hard to do. And he did well. Cole Bassett played significant minutes tonight. His first real chunk of game, and since he had that injury, what did you like about his performance? And what a difference does he make when he is on the field for you guys? Um, obviously, love to see him healthy. Love to see him um, free. Uh, you know, I felt like in in bits of the Columbus game, he looked a little hesitant and just a little bit rusty. But you know, not to take away from the goal, but you know, some of his touches, I think you would say the same. Um, tonight, he looked comfortable. He looked um, at ease. Uh, he gives us a, an energy in there um, that you can't replace. And um, happy to have him back. I think everybody is. There's a number of players starting to ease their way back into games, which you guys need, especially after a really tough stretch. Do you see that inspiring performances as you move forward? And, and how big is that going to be for this group going into uh, what is a loaded summer? Um, yeah, uh, as healthy as we can get is going to be great. Uh, this month was really, really difficult. Um, so that made things even harder. I think it was a bit of a perfect storm this month. But um, yeah, uh, you know, we're we're ready to have the full group back, uh, make the selections tougher for the staff, um, you know, make that competition more difficult in training. It pushes everybody, you know, it pushes the guys that start all the time, makes them sharper, makes them, um, you know, a little on edge. Uh, you know, I think everybody performs better when there's a little bit of pressure behind them. So uh, we're looking forward to getting everybody back um, and looking forward to, to more games to come.